Yeah, if you want to do streaming, we know how started. to do that, but it's not a huge priority right now for us. There are things that are That's... much more important. Yeah, I think people will agree. At least, you know, we know now that it's in the back of your mind and you do know that it would be nice to cross some of the lakes and things like that. But um, moving on, we have a question. Um, uh, we're getting a horde uh, of zombies feature. You've seen this in the other games like uh, Left 4 Dead and DayZ, um, where zombies clump up and, and maybe horde into towns or certain areas. Um, is that going to be a feature of your game, or are you going for um, the more realistic uh, zombie thing where, you know, it's this many zombies around this many types of housing units, or how are you guys approaching the zombie horde feel? Uh, it's, uh, let's start the uh, first thing that, uh, I'm not sure how it's done in uh, Daisy or Left, I mean, Left for Dead is just spawning zombies that constantly go in into the, in the waves towards you, right? Uh, but what we are doing, we basically spawn zombies at, uh, specific points. It's actually can kind of completely random points around the towns and the buildings and everything. So it's not like uh, we are not saying, oh yeah, there is a building in a game and there will be only like three or four zombies around that building and not, not more. No, we don't have that. Um, so we, we spawn zombies in the world at random locations. And what happens after that, it's uh, actually up to the players so if players will go to the town and will start basically get noticed by all the zombies in the town and they start running we end up running here uh, with like close to 100 yeah. maybe more zombies behind them so they kind of create a horde of zombies and they can steer this horde into the place they want but so 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 yeah so, so yeah so, so we are not limiting. Uh, we are not limiting count zombies that can be uh, kind of place. So, if you can get all the zombies from the map them to one place, yes, you can do right. that. Uh, but at the same time, we are not creating like kind of scripted features where if you go to some place, we spawn like zombies and go. To Toward, oh, we were not doing any scripting like that. So it's more like natural thing. It's like, okay, yeah, the, city, the player there is like a couple no hundred board. zombies there, so do whatever you want with them. Right. Is there in the future <laughs> uh, any place to have uh, spawns for the zombies in the forest or special creatures or special mutated zombies in the forest that can people that don't feel safe while moving in the forest while these zombies? Uh, we uh, we we actually thought about that and we played that, that feature. So it's okay, not feature, but just placing <laughs> zombie spawns inside uh, inside uh, the forest. Uh, we still hundred percent sure that it's a great idea, but we will do more experimentation. As for special type of zombies, actually, right now in a the game there are kind of two types of zombies. One are just your common walkers. Uh, they have all different stats and different speeds, so some of them are faster, some of them slower, but you're, okay, we call them normals, they, they're they normal zombies, right? And there are other type uh, that we call specially mutated zombies, they can only be uh, found in large cities, right now it's like two uh, towns on the map. Uh, where high rises are, and uh, they mostly uh, hunt and go around by night. In pretty fast, are pretty dangerous uh, uh, guys. They they have more hit points than normal zombies. I think uh, four times more. Uh, in, but if you kill them, you can actually harvest uh, stem cells that you can be used to create vaccine and later on sold or safe settlements. Uh, I think I even think that I not even I I saw on forums people ex. And they said, "Oh, it's cool. What's that? What's that creature?" So, uh, so, but but they are rare. They are pretty rare breed. I think I've uh, one of those yet, but there has been um, a bunch of rumors about a special zombie up near Rifle Ridge. 
Is that uh, is that any kind of uh, a, a hoax, or is there actually something to that? No, I think it's uh, one of our special zombies who been to this place. Yes, <laughs> it's, it's it's not the hoax. It's, <laughs> it's somebody, it's actually actually saw this like rare creature. Well, that's nice. uh, yeah, it's, a, it's actually fun. it's actually a uh, funny story. But when we've created them, we have uh, at at any moment, I think we have not more than ten or uh, about ten or twelve uh, zombies of this type in the, in the game. And uh, our guys even said, "Oh, yeah, we should actually track their movement wherever they are." So what's happening to those guys? Like a rare birds or something get tracked we should track <laughs> the zombies but we are not doing that so, like, so, so, so we actually don't even know where they are right now in the world <laughs> nice okay well that sounds like uh, it's going to add to the suspense when everybody goes and plays later um, <laughs> one, of, one of the next questions that we have is um, uh, is there a timeline or is this even going to be a feature for uh, proximity with chat or no IP? Uh, we we know that we need so it's it's an art to do list happen sometimes early next year so it's not going to happen like November or December this year I think uh, it's more realistic to say okay first quarter of 2013 and right now we are actually evaluating different libraries to to support that. Okay, great. That's that's definitely good to hear. Oh, but, um, but, but, but yeah, it's it's kind of when we started development first, uh, we said, okay, yeah, it's probably a nice feature to have, but not something that uh, people uh, will need like hundred percent. They they can use TeamSpeak and everything. But we end up lots of our as developers end up in situation where uh, we actually want to just say to to people around us like. Yeah. And it's and it's kind of hard to use chat. <laughs> like said, okay, yeah, we we need to move priority on the things, and <laughs> we need to make. It <laughs> yeah, if it was voice chat. I'm sure there. there'd be a lot less uh, PK going on. But uh, <laughs> when you got to stop the type, it's hard to trust anybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. Well, that takes care of that one. Um, let's see. I got a question from a guy uh, who was wondering if. The um, loot spawns are completely completely random, or do you have a system in place for this type of spawn here, or this type of will spawn there? And he has a specific example of he can find a lot of weapons at military camps, and uh, uh, that's where this one's come from. Yeah, so uh, so basically, we have different types of let's say a loot spawns, and when we when we place uh, spawn points we basically assign what type of loot will be so we, we are we are obviously trying to kind of make it like more, more realistic so if you want to go uh, military web you have to go to military camps or military installations uh, and if you are around like a police station or uh, you, you will probably find more uh, there will be more chance to find ammo or kind of low-grade weapon uh, like high-power pistols and handguns yeah. and uh, stuff like that and w then you are in a hospital you probably find more medication there so yeah it's it's not completely random yeah, obviously. Uh, so it's kind of match environment uh, but outside that, there is like uh, lots of lots of lots of spawn points, and uh, we we don't for sure if if we place like for example ten spawn points uh, in a hospital, we don't know for sure that uh, this item will spawn on this place at this time. Right. So that that that's random, a random part of that. All right. Well, that's good to know that there's some uh, some method to the madness of tracking down your gear um, so moving on we have a another question um, some people are speculating that the current engine um, that you run on which I believe is the Eclipse engine correct yes um, say that this engine may not be able to support vehicles do you plan on still adding vehicles to this and if so is that going to be something difficult 
uh, we uh, we actually had uh, vehicles uh, playable uh, in our area. So 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 number one. Uh, first of all, we did vehicles, and we did vehicle uh, called uh, not not we. Uh, air engine team at Arctus Entertainment uh, did vehicles back for our guys at uh, Online War Monkers for a game called Warring, but it didn't went to Warring yet. And uh, when uh, Hammer Point started working on the game, and they obviously said, "Yeah, we need vehicles." So vehicles been uh, playable in a first first playable test of war z i think it's uh i think we had first version of war z that been like bare bones of what we want to do in around february uh march 2012 so it's like pretty while ago and we had vehicles there we didn't okay. put we didn't put vehicles in the game yet on the release because there will be there was like bunch of issues them like uh how they handle collisions with zombies, what's going on, what will happen if you put lots of vehicles in one spot, and uh, so, so there there was like some optimizations, let's say, things that needed to be done, and make sure that everything's stable and uh, working properly, but uh, okay. vehicles, uh, but uh, yeah, vehicles will get into the game uh, relatively soon. Uh, and that, and that, yeah, and that will be pretty like big update. Yeah, that sounds awesome. I'm sure uh, a lot of people can't wait for that one. Um, well, Tim kind of touched on some of this, um, you know, pre-alpha build. Um, there was uh, somebody who mentioned here um, seeing a video uh, pre um, of some zombies doing some cool animation players and things like that and now they're not in the current release are those coming back um, or is that something you guys scrapped uh, so, uh, that depends on what exactly what they saw and what's not on the game as far as I know uh, most of the things that uh, for zombie behavior kind of like been there I, I don't think uh, much of the zombie behavior actually from the logic standpoint and from the feature standpoint changed since uh, since May so I'm, I'm really not sure uh, what what guys think they are missing um, there was some animations while the zombies are running after players where they are, they are trying to grab the player by their hands and stuff like this uh, while now the zombies seem to be running uh, with their hands down uh, towards layers. So we, we, uh, uh, we are ch okay. <laughs> so uh, we are changing. As you as you probably noticed in the last like couple of months, we've been changing zombie animations for movement, for running, and uh, I think initial animation they've been running like. Uh, kind of like trying to grab you with their hands. Uh, Pointing towards you, I think uh, right now zombies mostly running with their hands down and kind of like swinging in three motion. So, so that's animations. And, uh, there is a chance we'll change them again. So, okay. Um, next one we have is um, people wondering if there's going to be uh, any type of wildlife animals birds, dogs, or anything that it's going to be out in the wild um, to e either interact with or um, static e either way. Um, is that something that we can see in the future? If every time I, I, I've been asked about that feature by our team <laughs> members here at office, I've been getting one cent. Okay, I probably had like enough money for, I don't know, for Xbox probably. <laughs> That's the reason. But uh, yeah, it's 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 one of the features that our team actually wants to get into the game as soon as possible. Uh, but we kind of, from my perspective, it's more like a wish list feature. So it's more like okay, we done with everything we want for a game. We, right. we had all the core features, it's all fine-tuned, it's all working fine, so now w what we are 
going to introduce to have like more fun game. I think I exactly. think if we're talking about wild animals and anything, uh, we instantly get to the point. Okay, so if there are like wild animals, uh, can you hunt them? Can you uh, can you make meal out of them and, and all that? And it, it's all need to be uh, done properly. So it's basically we can't just put like. Let's yeah, say. we see what you're saying. You want to put the time and effort into something rather than just to have yeah. it not work properly. That's the yeah. best approach to it. Um, you know, the, the game is still not you know even officially out. Uh, you know, it's still in its uh, what? What's the current actual stage of the game at this uh, particular uh, moment? It's, it's I feel because uh, like you can go to the website, buy the game, and play and start to play in the game. Uh, we, uh, so, so as you remember, we started pre-orders on the game on uh, I think October second or October third. Uh, don't remember exactly. Uh, we kind of opened the game for guys who bought Legion and uh, Pioneer packages on October 15th, but since October 31st, game is wide open, so it's uh, it's open to all public, so um, if when we are saying released or not, we kind of, it's kind of impossible to say that about online yeah. game. Uh, so from our perspective, game is out there, it's available to everyone, so everyone go start the game. Uh, are we done development if all features we want to have in the game? No, and I don't think we will ever do it. So, I mean, it's it's ongoing development. We will be adding more and more and more features as we go forward, and uh, more people actually buying the game right now and get in the game, playing the game. More money we have to support our development efforts. That's it. All right, so it's uh, pretty much a hybrid, which. I think is actually a, a, a good thing to, to call it, um, you know, the to have a, a team, you know, that's constantly going to develop the updates and things is, is good and not just put it out there and say this is what you get. So um, we'll move on to the next question, which um, we have uh, map related. Uh, currently you have the, the, the Colorado map, which you said is around 40, 40 to 60 percent uh, unlocked. Um, and you say you're going to unlock some more uh, here in the future. How many additional maps can we expect, and what are the types of environments that those maps will uh, will have? And yes. how will that play into um, into the game? How, how does you know your Colorado map interact with your uh, you know your next one? Yeah, I I, I I don't think the maps uh, will be interacting between each other. Uh, only things that will be done for sure. Uh, different types of the map, different maps will have a unique loot that you can only find on the on on those maps. So that's uh, that's kind of like saying, okay, if you need if you want to find this particular gun, you have to go to this map and start searching there. Uh, as for the ma maps and in the production, we uh, right now we are in pre-production for two maps. One map is uh, loosely based on California, so it's still United States, yep. uh, and uh, we really, really hope to capture uh, the whole like kind of Californian look and feel. Uh, so probably you will uh, you will have your Hollywood sign and stuff like that, and uh, uh, something similar to San Francisco. Uh, as for other map is, and that's like huge 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 crush on our guys and our artists they really wanted to do urban large scale map and uh, mm -hmm. uh, they basically we, we have to do Manhattan we have to do New York so that's a oh, wow. that that's something that requires lots of uh, changes to our engine to support that kind of like huge environment uh, not 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 really huge, but more like uh, dense and detailed. So you have lots of textures, lots of meshes, and a lot uh, and stuff like that. And you need to make it like reasonably detailed. So that's I, I can. It's gonna happen. Everybody's excited. Everybody working toward that. Uh, 
but at the same time i can tell you that okay yeah we will have new york by june no Probably okay. Well, yeah, a, a hard date is um, is you know is is not something that we need as as long as we know we have some things to look forward to in the map side. I'm sure everybody's going to be you know happy with that. Colorado is great. Don't get me wrong, but the spread out kind of settlements it it will get old. Everybody likes your your cities, your Boulder City and the uh, Campos. People love those places. So to see maps that are going to be you know strictly uh, built on those kind of situations, are, it's going to be good to see. Yeah, uh, and that's what we're trying to do in the, uh, our, our next California map will be uh, much, much bigger than Colorado, so we kind of work okay. toward the map that at least, it, I can tell you right now, it's at least, ten, uh, not 10, it's at least 4 times bigger, it's more than that. So it, it's 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 pretty big map. I I saw like kind of early version of that early, and it's like really 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 huge. But uh, once again, <laughs> that that map that will require you to use uh, vehicles because otherwise, oh boy, it takes yeah. a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, the next question kind of um, folds into the this question about the maps. Um, we have somebody here mentioning the um, the map as as Colorado has um, has updated has been getting more and more open as far as buildings go. Um, Boulder City, I believe, when it launched, didn't have any interval buildings uh, besides the one or two that were, you know, um, from other cities or other towns. But uh, without this, with, with this last update, it looks like one and two stories of a lot of the buildings are uh, becoming open. Um, when, since this is something that you guys have updated and patched to, um, is there, are we going to be able to expect gear in with it in these buildings? Yes, yes, and uh, more and more uh, buildings will be enterable. We have a uh, bunch of, uh, I think, bunch of new assets for like smaller kind of like countryside building. Uh, that are closed right now they are being opened up and uh, like more stuff furniture being put in the us will be added there too as well all right excellent um, just, thank you thank you for answering so many way i've got a couple more we're trying to oh, that's, in fine, here. that's fine that's <laughs> fine <laughs> that's great uh king did you have uh, did you yeah. have one you wanted to add in real quick yeah, about the stronghold. A lot of people have been asking what the stronghold servers are about, uh, what kind of buildings people can build. Can you give us an overall image of, of uh, more detailed info about the stronghold, how this thing is going to work, what people are going to build, what makes the difference between a stronghold, why should people get a stronghold server? Okay, uh, so first of all, uh, Pretty soon you will be able to react to uh, game worlds. And when we say in game worlds, it's basically Colorado map. So you can have your own server to play with your friends and stuff like that. Uh, lowest number of uh, people that can go into the like those servers, I think, will be uh, even either either 40 or 50 people, and you can select up to by up to 100. Uh, so that's a big maps, big gameplay, normal gameplay and stuff like that. So, the, so that's for that. But at the same time, we thought, okay, so what if I want to have kind of my safe heaven, or if I want to create my my own type of uh, role play in a game? What if I want to build a farm? What if I want to build uh, uh, something like that? So for that we've created what we call strongholds, and strongholds is basically essentially it's a smaller maps. They are really really small. I mean uh, size of the map uh, for stronghold is between I think uh, three to Three to eight square kil uh, three to nine square kilometers. That's basically size of uh, I think uh, the size of decent map, but nowhere close to Colorado map, obviously. And on those maps, there will be only 
one or two point of interest. It's maybe like a single farm or really, really small town that basically uh, uh, protected. So, so that, that you can, can if you create your own stronghold map, you, you can claim this place to be your own base. base. On that base, uh, you, can you can do basically, basically whatever, whatever you want. You can, you can just uh, password, password protect this uh, server and say, oh yeah, it's only for my friends, friends and only my friends who know password can get to the map. Yeah, and uh, uh, there you can just use, just use that, that as your, your stash house. You can get your, get your loot and basically just drop so loot so uh, your friends can pick it up. It up. Or you can, you can use what we call the blocks. blocks. Yeah, and uh, uh, to kind of enhance the map experience. experience. And, and, and the blocks, uh, maybe, maybe it's kind of the wrong name because it suggests that you can will be able to build structures or something, but no, it's more like uh, uh, special types of objects uh, that allow you to do uh, different things that normally you can do in the game. So, for example, uh, we have one of the building blocks, one of the objects, are kind of hydroponics type of uh, thing that produce vegetables and fruits. So, basically, you can grow your own food. Uh, another example is I said purify, purify some, so if it's put like near water source, it can basically produce water you can drink. Uh, on other spectrum, uh, there are actual things that can be used to build structures. Not like you have you know, doors and windows or anything, like a piece of uh, kind of like Similar, similar to barricades, kind of uh, uh, small uh, bricks wall, wall that you can stack on each, on each other, so you can, yeah, you, yeah, you technically you can, build can build some kind of small structure, structure but that's, 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 about that's about it. So, so what you can do on, the on the stronghold, stronghold maps, maps it's uh, uh, really up to you. It's it's really it's really, it's really, it's really not, not more nothing more than a tool for your imagination, your role playing. When we've been doing alpha test, like close alpha test of uh, testers, we've been paying to. We have some uh, weird stuff going on. One of the guys actually farmed so he the huge farm that he to grow vegetables. Then he got the, those vegetables and went to the main map and tried to trade it for weapons and, and gear. Uh, another guy, he basically. Uh, Build up, build up like uh, uh, on, on, on stronghold map. Owner, owner always knows where the player spawns are. So you basically, so you basically player when he enters, he enters your map, map build from this place. What the guy did? He he, he built like, like, like kind of like arena uh, from, the, like, from the like using brick walls around uh, uh, player spawn and, uh, he, and uh, he lured zombies inside. inside. So, basically so basically, everyone who spawns on Okay. Able to spawn on Sphere or in like, like, like death, 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 as you call that. Basically, he had like, uh, like uh, kind of gladiator fights, versus people versus zombies. So it's like, so it's just, like just small ideas, small ideas what can be done with Strong Cold, but as I said, but as I said it's from our standpoint, from our standpoint it's, more like it's more like we provide, we provide access, access to smaller maps and uh, uh, we use to create your own role play situation. Fiction. As for, for slots for players, it's a variable. I think the lowest number is 10, the highest number is 30. So that should give you an idea. What about the number of uh, number of uh, players that can join on normal world servers? What is the max number? What is the average number? Uh, so right now, if you uh, if uh, you check the game, I think it's 40 or 50. Uh, uh, we uh, that found for that for the whole map, the whole map in Colorado, our proper, uh, proper number will be around 70 players. Technically, technically we don't limitations, so technically you can get like, get like two, 300 people and get them, gather them on a single spot. 
So, so engine allows, engine allows us to do that, but, to do uh, that, but uh, uh, basically VR, VR restricting maps, maps and number, number of players can join the single server, server more or uh, more based on the size of the map than on technical any technical limitation. As I said, we feel personally that a good number for fully unlocked Arada map is around 70 people. Okay, so, okay, bigger, so bigger maps in the future will have bigger slots of people, of people more, more a uh, number of people oh, playing. Oh, yeah, so. yeah, sure, yeah. All right. All right. I have uh, a couple of the very questions with the answer of will be tents in uh, War Z, where people can go and uh, lock stuff in the forest, stuff like this? Uh, we actually don't, uh, we are not going to have tents, but we are going to have, and uh, I need to check when this update will go live, I think it's uh, relatively soon, it's clearly before end of this year, uh, we will have feature called lockers. And, and lockers are coming in to, it's basically your being that you can, uh, uh, you can get, you can get in, a world, in a world, find in a world, find in a world or put in your backpack, put in your backpack go somewhere, deploy it, it, same way you're for, doing for uh, for, notes, for notes, just drop it in just a world, it in a world uh, uh, place it in a world, place it in a world and, after that, and after that you will be able to place uh, uh, stuff, stuff, move stuff between uh, this, uh, this locker that have, I think, like printed like and your, in your uh, backpack. There's one, one is uh, kind of unlocked, unlocked, so, unlocked, so everybody can touch that, that and get from it. From it. And, one and one requires you to enter uh, roll digits, uh, digits uh, to, to open it. So only people who know pin code can open that, can or, that or if they, they just have much to do, they can just sit and try to pick up the pin code. So it's, I think it's only five or uh, four digits. Uh, so it's, will take them like maybe like a few hours to do that if nobody will kill them in, in, in <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's uh, that's what uh, that's what our plan is. And Okay. Okay. Uh, another quick question. Uh, yes or no answer. If people in the future uh, throw flares, will zombies be attracted to them or not, or have no effect at all? Uh, yes. Uh, we are. Uh, we are going to basically make zombie attractable to light, and including like your flashlights. So, if you use your flight, they will be attracted to that as well. Uh, plus, uh, I'm not sure if you've seen it in a game a lot, uh, but the object that they look like a spray can that basically siren that can produce like a sound, and zombies are already attracted to that sound. Right. So, you will, uh, so, 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 so bottom uh, bottom line, you will be able to attract zombies using sound or uh, intense light. Right. Another question: When we can see the players' infections when they are hit by zombies? Uh, I th it's actually in the game right now. It just right now we uh, during like this initial period we uh, we set a chance of being infected to be very very low. Uh, just to give you idea, I've been playing the game. Uh, yeah, obviously since uh, since the game been released public, like probably at least between like uh, forty. 30, 30 minutes to one hour, to one hour every, single every single day, and, and I've, I've been infected by zombies, by zombies uh, maybe, like maybe like three, four times during that time. time. So it's it's, it's really really rare right, right now. We will increase chance, chance of being infected more uh, in, uh, in, okay. in next like, in but but yeah, it's already in the game. Right. What does uh, being infected entail for the for those of us who have never been infected, um, do you do you die? Do you get to be play as a zombie? Or uh, so, uh, basically, well, well, when, when you infect it, uh, what happens is uh, your kind of infection level, uh, what we call blood toxicity level, will start raising, and it's basically from zero to hundred. When at hundred, you uh, your figure. Uh, yeah. Your icon, icon that shows your health, that shows your health will, be will be completely green. green. The, the, once, it once it reach 100, you will start losing your health. Basically, when it goes to zero, you will die. 
Okay. 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 Will, you, will you become a zombie afterwards? <laughs> or uh, that, uh, yeah, that was, yeah, like, that was uh, like, uh, uh, like uh, what lots of people been asking, and that's uh, was kind of idea, idea from the start. Uh, uh, we uh, said uh, at some point we said no, like, no, we don't want this to happen because just okay. If you are a zombie, we need to create enough models to basically to show your decay state that you are a zombie using this particular model. So it's like it did lots of lots of uh, new additional art tasks, but more important, it's basically add more textures to the game. Or if you just replace the random zombie, I mean, it's kind of pretty lame. Like died, but yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. the random, yeah. random zombie yeah. spawned at this time, this at this like place. Like ah, it's kind of so so no, so so, so no. For, for now, you just die. Yeah, maybe for, yeah, maybe for a future, 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 future,